Hi, welcome to Base Editing with Daisy. In this segment, I thought we'd explore some of the ways you might want to do your base walls. Now, you do have a lot of options in the editor itself. You can go and you can pick the style over here on your left-hand side, the button that says Pick Style. And whatever section of the wall you decide to choose or floor, it'll pop to that section. Just choose the style that you want, um, like Tech Powered or Tech Vents or Ancient, um, whatever you want. Each of the three sections of the wall can be something different, just depending on what you want. Um, of course, you can color them if you want to. And uh, you have actually quite a lot of options in the base editor. But you do have to realize that uh, all of your walls are going to be the same throughout that room and throughout that base if you want to make all the rooms the same. Um, this is where having one room can be a little bit of a disadvantage if you want to use the base editor and the style and coloring choices that you have there. But there are a lot of other ways that you can put walls in your base. Let me just show you a few that I have set up here for you. Um, okay, so you can use some of the walls in dividers. And uh, these would be like the cement or concrete and wood wall. Now this actually, as you can see in the window, um, does come with a wood paneling. But I think that makes it too tall. And um, this is a height that I like a lot better. Now if I put an NPC in there, just to show you, like the Vanguard Quartermaster here. Um, you can see that's a nice height. That's plenty of height for any of your characters, even the very, very tall ones. Um, so that's one way to measure it. Another way is with the NPCs. Another way is the COT door under doors and windows. It's at the very end. Um, it's 10 feet tall and it also makes a good measurement. If it fits, you know for sure even your tallest tune is going to fit in that space. So, um, another option I've used before is this. These are arcane supergroup banners. And I, if you color both of your colors exactly the same, you lose the markings on the banners. They turn into all one color. Um, this is great. You can set the colors with your supergroup colors, make those both the same, or you can set them with the color choices that come up on your object window. They make a great way to add color to the room. You do get this little bit of a kind of a textured effect, but it's very, very pretty. Uh, the lighter the shade, the less of the texture that you do see. So that's something to keep in mind. Some way, nice way to get color into a room. Um, if you like white walls, I like this option. This is actually shower floors, the backs of the larger of the two shower floors. Now, the easiest way I have found to set these up is just to set up an office floor and put these shower floors, just lay them on their uh, attachment surface on the quarter grid and they will just lay side by side and make a nice smooth surface on the other side. Um, I also like to use that for ceilings because I like white ceilings. That's what I'm used to. Uh, I'll use a dock if I really want something rustic, but the uh, tiles are very easy to lay, very quick to lay down. If you use the quarter grid setting and an office floor, just lay them down and you can just keep laying them down. They go down really quickly. So um, those are a couple ways to build walls and ceilings. Of course, brick walls are good. This is a stone wall from the dividers also. This is something you would need to have a lot of space on the other side to use. This is a Roman stairs. So this is quite a large piece and it makes a great walkway. So it's easy to bury in the base floor. 
um, but yeah, it, it makes a nice wall, but you're going to need to have a lot of space to put that in, maybe the outside base wall. Um, if you want some wood, there's always docks. Now this is a dock platform. It's much more slender, as you can see from the picture, than the docks. These are docks, and these are dock platforms there in slightly different places in the landscape section of the editor. Um, this reclaimed wood-looking piece here is actually a fishing shack. Again, you would need a fair amount of space in the back side of that to put that in as a wall. Um, this is something I like for a tech look. These are tech planters, and you would find those in the tech section. And one of the cool things about these is that they light up at night. They cycle through kind of an aqua green to a, a blue and through purple and then back to the aqua green. Um, it, it's quite pretty. It makes a really nice effect. It's great in um, like a bar setting. It's pretty cool. Uh, this is a new piece. This is the tech box and they come in various sizes and thicknesses. So I haven't played with these personally yet to do walls you would probably want to have something that was pretty thick to absorb the thickness and depth of the boxes, but they do come in various sizes, so it would probably work pretty well as a wall surface. This is the section that I'm the most familiar with for tech looks, and that would be the tech balcony. You can get, this is a smaller four piece, you can get one that's a much larger uh, piece. I think it's a um, 16 piece if I'm not mistaken, and uh, so it's much bigger, goes up much much higher and much wider. Um, they are thicker than your dividers, your walls from the divider section, but they do make a very nice tech look in a base. Uh, and of course there's the polished metal under the divider section. That is is nice, but it has this trim on the top, and if you look from the side you know, it, it's a fair amount thicker than the rest of the wall. So if you want to stack these ver vertically, you will get these bumps every so often. Uh, you won't get a nice smooth surface, which that's why I tend to go with the balcony surface because I can get those to blend together seamlessly. I can't do that with the polished metal. If you like a stone look, couple of options for you. This is a new piece. It's the Power Substation Foundation. It comes in four different sizes. This is the third largest. It comes in fairly small to fairly big. Um, these are in the landscaping section. They are the Roman block works and they make great uh, floors, ceilings, walls. I've used them about everywhere. Um, one thing that is pretty cool about these is your uh, angle snap. I'm going to set these back because I had it had it fixed. And I came in and I unfixed it. Um, sometimes you'll see something we call flicker. You see where the two pieces are meeting. Um, there's a fair amount of flicker. Now sometimes I can move those so that they're mostly apart and sometimes that fixes it. Sometimes you still see there's a little bit of flicker in there. So a little trick you can try um, is typing in angle snap space 0.5. And when you've done that, you can try to angle your piece again, just very gently. I didn't do it very gently. I don't think I did it at all there at that time. There we go. You can see it moving just a little bit. Um, so there, it moved just a little bit. And uh, now you can see that the flicker is gone. Uh, sometimes it takes a little playing around, but uh, that works pretty well. So, as you can see over here, we have one, two, three sections of the concrete and wood wall segments and that makes three nice size levels in your base wall. Um, as you might notice the bottom portion is buried underneath and behind 
the top of this. Sometimes you have to move one out a little bit more or one in a little bit more to be able to pull that off. But uh, the overall look is, is very good once you get that settled. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, those are some different ways that you can space your ceilings and your floors and uh, how many layers you can get into a base and some different wall options for your bases. I hope that helped. This has been Daisy. Take care. Bye.